Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is your full name? My full name is Gagan Malhotra. Where are you from? I hail from a small town in Punjab called Patiala. Okay. Please show me your ID, front and back page of your passport. Yes, sure. This is the front page. And this is the back page. Okay. Do you work or are you a student? Uh, although I work, by, but I consider myself a student of life for life because while I work, I continuously learn and evolve as an individual. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, uh, it enables me to continuously study about whatever is happening around me. So I do enjoy reading. So given that the task involves me to read and then collect and compile information about different things, so I do enjoy doing my work. Okay, let's talk about fishing. Is fishing popular in your country? Yes, India is a very diverse country and fishing is indeed popular in coastal areas of India. But the area that I hail from is landlocked, so it is not popular in my area. Do you like fish as a meal? Uh, yes, uh, I do like fish, but I usually eat it during winters because it is somewhat oily, its texture and composition. Uh, because of its, uh, it is a seafood, it contains a lot of oil. So I prefer eating it in winter. Would you keep fish as a pet? Uh, in fact, I do have a fish as a pet. I have an aquarium in my house where I have three fishes. They are star food. Where do people go fishing in your country? As I've already said, the fishing is popular in coastal areas of my country. So states like Gujarat, Maharashtra, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka is popular for fishing. Okay, let's talk about your house. How do you feel about your current home? Uh, I feel that I do live in a decent house, although it is not too big, not too small. It has all the amenities that a house should have. It is well lit and well ventilated, and we have recently refurbished it last year. Do you have shops near your house? Yes, we do have shops near my house, because my house is located in the city centre, which is exactly the heart of the city. So we have a lot of shops around my house. What can you see from the windows of your house? Uh, honestly, I see my neighbor's house from the window of my room and from the window in fact of my house. Uh, they have a beautiful garden and they are also trying to uh, refurbish their home. Please, after this COVID, they have decided to refurbish it. Okay. Does your house have nice view? I don't think so. We, the view is really monotonous as uh, we end up looking at our neighbors throughout the year and I would rather like a house where uh, the view is either mountains or a beach. What would your dream house look like? Uh, I'm a man of very simple taste mm -hmm. so if I do get a chance to build a house of my dreams it will not be really built but it would be in a very secluded place, maybe in the midst of mountains where no one can easily reach me. Okay, let's talk about tourism. Do many tourists visit your country? Yes, India has been a uh, favorite tourist destinations, a destination for quite a few time, but given that we are in a pandemic, so I don't think so that right now we receive as much tourists as we used to before the pandemic. Do you think tourism brings benefit to economy? Undoubtedly, there are various benefits of tourism. Apart from the tourists bringing their uh, money that they eventually end up spending in local economies, it also creates jobs. It also enriches uh, the culture of an area where people from different parts of the world visit. And they not only learn, but also teach people who live there about the cuisines that they like. Eventually, because any tourist destination wants to satisfy the demands of their tourists, so it ends up uh, enriching the culture of the All right, now I will give you a two minute topic. You will have one minute to prepare on this topic and you have to speak for one to two minutes and I can stop you in between. Fine?
this is your topic here is your paper and pencil shall i start yeah sure uh, i really love reading and i consider myself to be a voracious reader and whenever i do get time i enjoy reading so as i am expected to talk about a phrase that i remember from a poem or a song i would like to talk about a phrase that is two roads which diverged in the woods and i took the one which was less traveled by and that has made all the difference these lines have been taken from the poem the road not taken which was written by an american poet back in the 70s he tries to talk about the conundrum that an individual faces in life whereby we are expected to take an important life decision which can possibly change the entire course of our life and in that very situation it is a uh, it becomes relatively difficult for the individual to come up with a prompt decision he discusses that one path leads to a very secure and safe place which is often traveled by most of the people in the society but the second path which is usually neglected can even lead to beautiful destinations so at times i can resonate it with uh, this poem because at times in life we come across a decision where we have to choose between two important things although we know that by doing something which is secure like studying a subject which is highly rewarding but other time at other times we often choose to pursue our passion and inclination so it talks about this dialogue diabolical situation where a person has to decide which course of action one take should take are poems popular in your country yes indeed poems are really popular in my country because india has been always a land of intellectual individuals who satiate their curiosity by reading and poems from time immemorial has been really popular in the country can i have papers back yes please okay now i will ask you few questions related to this topic do you know any popular poet in your country yes as i already said that india has been a land of poets uh, the earliest poet that i can recall is saint kabir who wrote, wrote, wrote many poems which are even inscribed in the holy text of sikh uh, religion and uh, i do remember a poet which is a nobel laureate of india shri uh, rabindranath tagore ji he wrote many poems which are acclaimed by the world and really celebrated are you good at memorizing things uh, i don't think so that i am good at memorizing thing things but in case i have really understood something i am good at retaining them and recollecting them whenever i need to do you think children like the rhythm of songs or poems yes i do think because they are catchy and uh, children are really curious and they tend to learn things quickly so whenever they come across something that is fascinating to them they do uh, catch them or learn them very quick do you think it is easier for children to learn songs or poems than adults well i think anyone can learn as easily as adults or even children it depends upon their personal interests inclination and proclivities if a person is interested in learning poems one can easily learn irrespective of their age what can people learn from songs or poems well in my opinion uh, there are various things that we can learn from songs and poems because of the sheer reason that they are written on diverse topics sometimes poems are written on uh, love and sometimes they are written on separation yearning and longing for their loved ones so one can learn how they can describe those ineffable feelings that we feel for our loved ones by reading uh, poems or listening to songs 
have you ever tried writing a poem or song? Uh, honestly, I have to try to read miserably, given that I'm not as eloquent as a person should be if they want to write a poem or a song. So, yes, I did try, but I didn't succeed. What qualities do you think a person should have to write a poem or a song? First and foremost, as I said, they should be eloquent. They should be really proficient in a language that they want to write a song or a poem in. Then they should have a good observation. If they can't observe things, even mundane things and vanity things around us, then they should be able to contemplate on them differently than us. So when this entire process is complete, I think only then they can jot down some ideas or make it really a meaningful poem or a song. It is believed that poems are losing its popularity and readership. What is your opinion? Yes, I do think, especially in today's era where technology has overtaken most of the parts of our life, I think that poems have become a vestige of past, whereby it was, it is just read by some intellectuals and people who are pursuing literature as their subjects. Uh, on the other hand, it has been overtaken by songs. People like listening songs than poems because they are easy to remember, they have addiction of music to them, and it is not as engrossing and exhausting as a process that writing or reading poems is because poems are usually written in a lot of layers and to understand those layers one has to think and nowadays not a lot of people want to think with that kind of depth and gravitas. Alright, this is the end of your speaking. Thank you.